I would like to show you an next console, which is a must have VS Code extension for Angular developers. First, to install it, click on Extensions, search for next console, click on it, click on Install over here, reload your editor, and once you're done, you're going to see an icon over here uh, that you can click on, and you should see something like this. Okay, to see what we can uh, do with the next console, uh, let's look at a typical Angular CLI project. So I have it over here, it's called Shop. I've just created, not to touch about it, a normal Angular CLI project, okay? Angular CLI uh, is, is great for a few reasons, uh, but mainly it's good at code generation. It's really good at code generation. It's probably a few steps ahead any other tool, at least in the front of space. And second, it's good at custom target execution, where you can replace what it means to build or test your project without in any way affecting your dev experience uh, from the Angular CLI point of view, right? Both of those things are huge. And let's look at both of them right now and see how NX console can improve our experience with uh, both code generation and custom target execution. For code generation, uh, normally we would do something like this. We would do NGG, component, uh, my component, and we would you know run this command. If we like what we see, we would remove dry run and we'll generate the component. The problem with this is that it uh, doesn't give us a way to explore what schematics are available in our workspace, right? Uh, we might have a lot of schematic collections here, right? We don't know what we can use. Uh, who knows what we can generate, right? And it's not, it's not obvious how to see what is available. Second, even if you look at the component schematic we know exist, knowing what flags to use can be challenging, right? I can pass dash dash help, look at this, and see what I can uh, pass, but it's, Honestly, crafting uh, a command using this, this this help information is not something that a lot of people could do, right? Because you need to know about the data types used, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's actually not that, not, not that easy. And uh, that, as a result, uh, a lot of folks use code generation with the Angular CLI, but they only generate very basic things. Like they generate components like this. Maybe they do something like that. Like they pass a single flag or, uh, but they don't go beyond that very much. An X console uh, helps with that a lot, right? So if I go to an X console and I click on generate, first what I see is the list of all schematics available in this workspace. In this particular workspace, all of them come from the same collection, uh, but in a, a more complex workspace, a, a real one, right? You will see a lot of different collections in here. And I can pick a component, and what I see is a UI that I can explore to see what flags are available to me, right? Uh, to craft this command, to, to construct this generate command. As I start, start interacting with this, I will see the dry run command running, so I can actually see what would be created if I chose to generate uh, the thing, right? I don't know, I can update it, you know, I can see it updated. I can scroll down and, for example, select a different types of style and uh, maybe uh, make it inline style or inline template. So I can do something like this in an interactive fashion, right, with this form. And once I'm somewhat happy, I can see the command, I can even copy and paste this command for future use. But I can also run the run thing, right, and I have the component generated. That's cool. That's useful, especially for schematics you don't often use. Not the component schematic, but something new. Like you installed Node.js support, you're trying to figure out how to create nest primitives and you're just unfamiliar with their schematics, right? This is huge. Uh, normally, I wouldn't click on this button though, right? I don't like using the mouse, so I would uh, instead do ng generate UI. I would select this command, right? And again, I would see the same stuff and I can select what I want to select, right? Another thing I can uh, I can do, uh, which I do sometimes, is that I, I can type ng generate without the UI and I see something similar, but here instead of the form, I can construct this command sort of in an interactive fashion. Uh, for example, I can say, oh, my name of my component would be my component. As you can see, the command has been constructed slowly. I can uh, make, it, make, make it enable inline styles. Okay, that's good. Inline templates, that's good too. And once I'm happy with this, right, I can run the command and here you go. Okay, so that's code generation. Uh, we don't generate code as often, but I think partially 
we don't use it more because it's kind of hard to remember how to do it. So often copying and pasting is faster. If you have uh, the UI that looks like this, uh, suddenly copying and pasting is not faster. Suddenly actually running the generate command, crafting it and making it exactly right is the fastest way to, to predict it, right? Next, the second thing that Angular CLI is good at is custom target execution, right? You see over here. And uh, again, normally the way I would do it is I would type ng build. And if I want to explore what options I have, again, I do dash dash help, you know, all the things uh, we know how to do, right? Again, uh, it's a bit easier if uh, if I use the next console. I can click on build, click on shop, and I see a very similar UI to what I saw in the generate case. Uh, I can select different environments I have in here or configurations that I have in here. And I can play with those parameters again in the same fashion I, I, I could play before. For example, I could, uh, I don't know, cho choose not to use vendor chunk. And if I run the command right now, I can see I'm building uh, my application without the vendor chunk, right? And uh, once again, uh, if you run the same command over and over again, it may not be as, 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 as helpful, but if you want to explore and see what else you can do, it is actually very helpful, right? And another thing I could do, uh, okay, cool, so, so that works. Uh, as before, right, I could uh, do ng build, select the UI, select my app, have the same UI as before. Uh, but I can also do it in a way where I just do ng build and I can select my app. And again, I can select the flags I normally would use. And this is actually what I normally do, right? For generation, I tend to look at the UI because I tend to customize my generation stuff a lot, right? I don't just normally say generate, right? I need to provide some flags to see what exactly will be generated. I like to look at the preview. For execution, for running targets, I actually don't care that much because most of the time, my target is configured correctly already, right? So I don't care that much, so I just do this, and maybe I would, like just for the sake of argument, uh, just to show that we can do the same stuff as before, I could again find the flags I need to uh, update, uh, maybe uh, select to false and execute it, and uh, uh, again, it will run this command, same as before, right? And uh, as you can see, it will, it will work, right? And the cool part here is that uh, I'm using the tasks API in VS Code to run this the command. So it doesn't run the terminal per se, it runs as a task, right? Which means that as I'm navigating around, let's say if I go to main.ts and I'm doing some stuff in here, right? Making changes, whatever being, I can rerun last tasks, right? And you can assign a shortcut to it. And as I do it, it will keep rerunning what I uh, wanted to rerun. So I don't, I never need to leave my editor uh, to actually interact with the Angular CLI, right? We use the next console. I can tell Angular CLI to do things uh, in this sort of interactive way without ever having to type ng build blah or ngg component my component blah. Our next console has an X in its name uh, because it works not just with um, sort of regular Angular CLI projects but also with the next projects. And next is a set of extensible dev tools from OnRepos which works with the Angular CLI. So in the next workspace is an Angular CLI workspace. It just has more stuff in it that helps you scale your development and just develop fast in general. Uh, this isn't the video about an X. So if you don't know what it is, I'm going to link to a different video in the description below. Please check it out. And hopefully after watching that one, you'll give it a try. I really think an X is a, a fantastic tool for pretty much any Angular project and any Angular team. So this is an annex repo I have over here. Uh, it has a few apps and a lib, you know, brand new, nothing special, very typical. If I click on the annex console uh, icon, I see the same section as I saw before that helps me to generate artifacts and run targets. It works the same way. I can select a project, for example, API, and have all the flags I can use to, to build my API. It's more handy in the context of annex because uh, annex repos tend to have uh, a lot of different types of projects with different flags. So uh, it's harder to memorize those, right? Being able to explore them interactively uh, to see what's going on is actually uh, uh, can be very, very, very helpful uh, in here. Same with code generation. A lot of our next workspaces have different collections, being able to, to see which ones, you know, for example, over here, as you can see, I have a lot more going on, right? Uh, being able to explore those, you know, and use those effectively uh, 
is, is very important, right? In addition to this section, however, we have two other sections, uh, the project section and uh, the common and command section. So in the project section, we see all the projects in the workspace. And if I select, for example, click on this icon, I'll be redirected to the projects in the Explorer. And I can expand the projects. I can, you know, look at different targets the projects have. For example, the API has a build target or the test target. If I click on test, I will be redirected to the place in the configuration file that configures the testing of the API. I can run it by, you know, doing something like this. And as you can see, it uh, does work, you know, it runs. And uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, in addition uh, to that, I can also run common and X commands, such as run many. Right? I can click on it uh, in this UI uh, uh, section, or I can just type in an X run many, and I can select the target I want to run, for example, test. And as before, I, I can construct this command sort of interactively. I can choose to run all projects in parallel. And once I'm happy, I can run and I can see uh, that, you know, everything has been tested. As before, as I work, you know, with my code base, making changes, I can always rerun it using the, uh, the last task shortcut. And that helps me develop without ever having to leave my editor, right? I can do stuff and I can just keep rerunning things that I constructed, right? Using this, uh, this UI. All right, that's the next console for you, right? It helps you generate code explore things, right? Run common targets, run common and X commands, right? In a very uh, straightforward and interactive fashion. Please check it out. And if you have any feedback, uh, reach out and I will be happy to make this product better. Thank you.